Hey everyone, Michael here. Today we're going to talk about how to remove the date and the time from Windows 11. So as you may see right here down at the very bottom right of my screen, there is a date and a time. So by default, Windows will not let you remove that date and time. First off, open up a web browser and navigate to this URL. This URL will be in the description. Once you scroll down, go ahead and just click on where it says download this zip file from here. Over to my downloads and there is that file. Right click on it and we're just going to take the extract all option. So we hit extract and it should complete. And now going inside of that folder, you'll see a couple of different things here. So there is two executables, this show icon tray dot executable, which will show the icon tray or there is hide icon tray. What do you think that does? So let's go ahead and let's just try clicking on one of these. So if you double click on one of these, you'll obviously get this windows protected your PC. So you can click on more info, but if you run this application, you may see that it kind of removed it and then it added it right back. Now it's doing that for a couple of different reasons. I'm going to show you how we can work around that. So go ahead and click in the file location and highlight it and then just type in the letters CMD. So this will bring you to a command prompt. And so now if you run this hide icon tray, you can see down at the bottom, it is, it has been removed. If we go ahead and we try the other executable, which is the show icon tray.exe, there it goes. It's back again. So this is all working properly, but it may require a lot of additional time. So navigating out to the folder, uh, typing in this command and then waiting for it to complete. So there is an easier way to do this. Okay. So back over on my desktop, what I have done here is I've went ahead and shown the desktop icons. That way you can double click on a file that we're about to create to show or to hide the icon tray. Let's just go ahead and go new and we're going to shortcut here. And it's asking to type the location of the item. Okay. And this is going to be wherever you extracted that file to. So in my example, mine's going to be over here in the downloads. If you just click on it one time, you can copy and paste that into this dialog box. So from here, I'm going to create my first shortcut, which is going to be to hide the icon tray. We're just going to leave the default name here and now let's go ahead and give it a very quick test. There we go. Our icon tray has been removed. Okay. Let's build one more to show it. So let's go to our new and then shortcut. We're just going to paste that same item into our clipboard and make it say show icon tray. Again, leave the default name. And if we click on that, there it is. It is showing it. We can click on the other one here to easily remove it. And so that's about it for the day. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.